think it's very possible that we all become genderless. Yes, I do think that's possible. Yeah, I think that might be what is happening with like microplastics are changing people's hormone systems. And because of the uh, use of petrochemical products, the increase of phthalates into the human body from contamination mm -hmm. has caused people's taints to shrink, balls to shrink, dicks to shrink, sperm counts to drop, and miscarriages to go up. And they think that if you think about that, like that is like causing gender to just kind of compress and to become like more ambiguous. And in the future, if that continues to happen, what what does that mean? Like, what do we become genderless? And then what do we do to try to keep the human race alive? Well, we may we may revert to genetic engineering, like some sort of a genet, like some sort of a you know medical technological intervention, so we breed from like splicing genes. So we get enough males and we get enough females. Yeah, and that has always been what's crazy about this is, although this sounds nuts, we're talking about it now. For decades, people that have been abducted by aliens have always said that aliens are performing experiments and making hybrids with human beings because their genetic material has run stale because they're 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 breeding or they're rather reproducing through genetic manipulation rather than through sex because they don't have sexual in intercourse anymore so they need they our eggs and yeah, sperm they need all that stuff they need our material but the, because they don't have that anymore so that might be where all biological creatures that develop technology, and technology in, in our case involves a lot of plastic, the more technology, the more plastic, the more plastic in the bodies, the more the bodies become genderless.